What y'all see is a uh, Wick brand Carvette style fuel pressure slash regulator. You see what this is uh, what they put on a lot of Carvettes. It's got one line going to the engine and they put a return line and it sits close by the gas tank so they don't have to re have a return line running all the way from the engine. This is actually a return line that's in the center. Pressure line is on the outside. Well, I had to replace mine because I wasn't getting the right uh, fuel pressure for the really the engine to start and run. The fuel pressure was about five pounds when I was cranking and finally I got it started and it's running about 17 pounds. And being as this is an LS engine, it should have been 58 pounds. That's quite a bit of difference. Needless to say, that much pressure, I barely got it to roll around where I could put it on my lift to lift it up to work on it. It sat there in idle after you got it started. After uh, I shut it off, as soon as I shut it off, it, it would drop automatically down to zero pounds of pressure in the fuel rail. Well, when I put this new uh, filter regulator on, it immediately jumped up to 58 pounds of pressure while it was running, or even before it was running. Then when I shut it off, it probably dropped to about 48 to 50 pounds of pressure and sat there. It took about 30 to 45 minutes for it to drop off to that. It didn't immediately drop to zero. The reason for that is because this is defective in, inside there of the regulator. From what I've read, a lot of people said it's supposed to be a lifetime deal, but I guarantee you they don't last for a lifetime. And these are special fittings on here. Now you can look them up so you can hook these A and N lines and stuff on here. Several of speed places sell those. It took a while to figure out that was my problem. I also had a little bit of problem up in tank fuel pump. It was real loud too. I have a feeling that was going out because of this. But I'll show you a cutaway of the fuel filter regulator. Of course, that's a in tank fuel pump. That's a Walbro brand. And actually, another company bought them out. So if you look up Walbro, you'll actually get a different pump. Should be a Walbro GSS340. This fuel pump regulator that was on it didn't have a name or manufacturer on it. That's the only thing it had on it is in and out. So I have a feeling. It was a import foreign made, and you can take a guess of probably where it was made at. And that truck only had f about 4,000 miles on it, so it shouldn't have been bad in that period of time. This is what's on it now, what I bought, a WIC 33737. Cut the regulator open. Wish I could have done a little bit better job of cutting it open because it sort of butchered it up some. I wanted to see exactly what it looked like on the inside, but... This is what went bad, is this uh, diaphragm on this regulator. It's all deteriorated, thanks to that ethanol gas we use nowadays. And you can see all the corrosion in the bottom of this uh, filter regulator. That bottom half of it is the filter part. That's all you get nowadays as far as filter just about half the length of this whole canister but that's what happened this went bad and is letting all the fuel just bypass and go right to the fuel tank and wasn't feeding the, up to the engine